So there's this old timer on YouTube. I've been watching him since he was at like 150,000 subscribers. His name is Scotty Kilmer. Uh, he has this video about PO420. It's about catalyst efficiency below threshold. This is your catalytic converter. This is the thing that everybody's stealing because it's worth money because there's precious metals in here. Well, you can't steal it on these Audis because pretty much every single Audi that I can think of, this thing is way inside the engine bay and it takes multiple hours to get loose. Well, not for me, but thing developed the PO420 code on my car. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna take his advice. I'm gonna put the gallon of lacquer thinner in my fuel tank, which I did. I have a video of me pouring it in my fuel tank and I drove the whole tank out and I did exactly like I was supposed to with the highway and I did high revs and I did, I, I did as much as I possibly could because I wanted it to work. Trust me, if I could get this to work and if I could verify it and if I could tell all you people, hey, he was right, this actually fixes the catalytic converter, then we would be getting somewhere. But why would, why would a, a flammable fluid that burns in the combustion chamber clean this because it's a gas at that point. It's coming through as a gas. It's no longer a cleaning agent. Now maybe, maybe if you took this thing out and poured the lacquer thinner directly in there and it came out the other side and it evaporated out the crud, maybe that would work. Now I did uh, off camera out of curiosity pour water in this one and I should have filmed it. But what came out it didn't really look all that dirty. It was just water though. And then I went ahead and put a pressure washer in there, 1600 PSI, and uh, it started breaking it up a little bit. You see how there's a, a few chunks missing? And actually some of the dirt, which it did look a little bit dirty, uh, got pushed to the sides. So I don't know if you can see that, but just me taking a few of those chunks out, now they're gonna give me like almost nothing for this thing. So I wasted like, 300 bucks on this video, but that's nothing new. Okay, so now I'm supposed to take it off and physically clean it and put like dish soap or laundry detergent or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said, but I'm supposed to physically clean it and then put it back on and then supposedly that's gonna fix it. I decided I'm not gonna waste my time. If the video gets more popular, trust me, I can do it in the future. If I get to a uh, 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, that's not gonna happen, then I'll do it. Uh, if Maybe I should make a more realistic goal. But I'm just saying, if, if I see the results of people being interested enough, then I, I'll do stuff. But most people aren't gonna waste their time. I mean, how many people are really gonna waste their time at that point, taking, taking the catalytic converter off, cleaning it and putting it back on? You got to tell me in the comments if you really want me to do that because I will there's other catalytic converters out there that I will take off and clean but It's not really clogged up like I was expecting it to be clogged up So I just I don't have the confidence that that's going to work It was this one right here This is the exact catalytic converter that I had the PO420 and you see how you see that little tiny dot that little tiny piece of light That's what they all look like. I can see all the way through this both sides, you see that little piece of light? That's, that's what they look like. And let me tell you, this thing is extremely restrictive. I just did a test with my leaf blower and that video is coming soon as well. I'm going to put my leaf blower on this two amp hour battery and I'm gonna see how long it lasts just with no restriction and then I'm gonna see how long it lasts going through this catalytic converter and we're gonna compare. So I've got other tests that I probably could do. I was trying to think about like, if I can blow something blow something off, like this, this cup right here. I set this cup up and I was gonna blow it with my blower, my, my leaf blower. And I was gonna be like, I can blow this cup off at the distance of 10 feet. And then if I connect it to this catalytic converter, I have to get right up on it to blow it off. 
Uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Because I can feel almost nothing come on out the other side. But that's a, that's a future video you need to stay tuned for. Back to my original video. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, so what am I going to do with this video? Uh, I'm just telling you that it didn't work and I'm giving you the update. And uh, stay tuned for the catalytic converter restriction test. And then tell me how much interest you have in me actually cleaning it. We'll just leave it at that.